Oh my god, I'm pregnant. I'm just rushing to CVS. And Louise yelled at me and said that she was pregnant and she needs to have five more different um, pregnancy tests. So, <laughs> good news, they're on discount. This is uh, really tough. I just feel sick. I feel sick. I just feel so sick. Feeling really sick. I look like a devil. <laughs> So ill, but it's funny. I swear being pregnant is like being either someone who's sick or someone who's elderly, or both. Sausages, pasta, these that I used to have when I was a kid. That's crazy. This is so bad. What am I gonna be like when I give birth? Because I'm emotional right now. Skinny jeans, feel a bit tight. I don't, I can't even, my heart's beating so fast and I don't quite believe it. I just, I only took a pregnancy test because I'm not feeling very well and I wanted to take um, a NyQuil. Oh my God. I'm just rushing to CVS because I got home, was sat there and Louise yelled at me and said that she was pregnant and she needs to have five more different um, pregnancy tests. So, <laughs> good news, they're on discount. Those are just a random <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Literally just got every single brand there is. Oh my god, I'm pregnant. Oh, I can't believe I just said that out loud. We're having a baby! This is all such, like we literally just had to, uh, the only reason I, I, I took a test, the only reason is because I'm not feeling well at all and we've got a long flight tonight, overnight flight, and I wanted to take uh, a NyQuil and I thought, oh, I don't know if you, like, that's quite strong just in case, there's no way I'm pregnant. I didn't even bother to check the yeah, results yeah. when I left the bathroom on the first stick. I just have so many friends going through struggles that in my head, I still don't believe it. I'm take, I've brought more tests to France and I'm gonna take more in a few days. I am gonna be really real. Um, <laughs> this is uh, really tough. And I, of course, let me just say, am so grateful to be pregnant. I could not be more grateful or happy and same as Mackenzie, I've got so many friends going through um, tough, tough processes of getting pregnant. But oh, this is really like, I just feel sick, like proper want to throw up, any moment have to take a deep breath to not. 24 hours a day. Whoever made up the term morning sickness is first of all clearly a man and an idiot because it's not morning. It's bloody minute you wake up through every meal, through every minute, through trying to drive down the road and feeling like you need to pull over. Like I'm used to being a productive person, getting things done and achieving things and <laughs> when your body just takes control and says no, it's it's quite frustrating and I um, am trying to like still work out a few times a week because that makes me feel like sane and part of society because otherwise you're I work from home so being um, being not I mean I can't even go out in the evenings I just feel absolutely shattered and I mean I'm sleeping nine or ten hours a night and then like hardcore napping, which I'm about to do um, a couple of hours a day. And I feel really lucky that I can do that because I have my own company. I mean, I can't always, but most days I can. So I, I really feel for the women who go through this and cannot leave an office. I, don't, I would literally just fall asleep at my desk. It's like the most uncontrollable. It's like taking two or three uh, sleeping pills and then also feeling really sick. And maybe also having a hangover as well, because that is kind of how you feel. So all in all, 
so I'm thrilled, but I'd really just like to start enjoying this whole process. You know, I'm just so far not this earth mother who's just meant to carry children and enjoy it. Even though the baby is like the size of a pea at the moment. Um, so it's not really even a baby yet. But I mean, literally, I went, I did my Pilates class today and the teacher who's lovely, she knows because I told her because I want to make sure I'm doing the right things and avoiding the wrong things. And she literally at one point saw my face and said, do you want me to bring the trash can over? <laughs> but you are so much weaker than you used to be as well, or I am, which is annoying. I think when you love sports and you're quite competitive to then suddenly just be crap. My heart beats faster, so much easier. I get way more out of breath easier. And then you're not supposed to get so out of breath that you can't hold a conversation. So I'm trying to be mindful of that and not push myself. I'm just praying that this nausea goes away. It's supposed to around week 12, but the more you read online, it like it's sort of a, a double-edged sword because I think a lot of it's just chatter. Um, so we'll see. And the, the other thing, I'm just being really honest guys because I'm usually um, very upbeat and cheerful and I just feel like I'm being, I just need to be very honest, is that I feel incredibly lonely because um, I can't tell anyone. We're not, obviously Mackenzie knows, my mum and dad know and the doctor knows I'm a Pilates teacher. But other than that, it's too early to really share the news with you know, being mindful and careful like that. And so it's like the worst part of it, people say, is the first part. You don't know what you're doing. You feel like shit. And you can't be like, hey, is this normal? What what happened to you? Did you go through this? Cravings. So, <laughs> they are real. I, with feeling really sick, um, don't really want anything but then I've read that eating makes that feel better which is true so far and everyone recommends saltine crackers but there's only so many you can have and ginger ale which I now can't drink because I've had enough of that so I get downstairs in the evening and I'm grumpy sorry Mackenzie and I only know literally that minute by either smelling or tasting what is in the fridge or going on what I what I can manage to eat and so far it has, it has without fail been the carbiest, cheesiest stuff. It's the complete opposite to my normal palate, which is pretty healthy and I like fresh things. I don't want salad, I don't want fruit, I don't want fish. I want cheese on toast, like I had when I was a little girl with tomato ketchup. Pizza. Oh God, this is quite making me feel sick talking about food. Also, I'm just looking at my hair. I look like a devil. <laughs> What are you frowning for? I just feel so sick and this is the first time I've been in the supermarket for a long time and I thought I'd film this because this is so unlike me and um, I feel so ill but it's funny. My... There's my car. Sausages. Pasta. These that I used to have when I was a kid and we used to go on holiday. I want really strong cheddar because that also reminds me of being a kid. And again, why am I getting all these childhood cravings? But I want some of that and now I've found the pizza aisle. I mean, it's not like I don't eat unhealthily in, in real life, but I'm a lot better than this normally. And I want, normally really want healthy food, but that's stopped now. Mm, mushroom and olive, fine. So, we're in England, which is lovely because I was feeling super homesick. Um, and actually, it's the most beautiful summer. I'm so happy to be around family, childhood memories, and old mates. And it's such good timing because I am. 12 weeks today which means we can tell people and um i can't wait to see people's reactions 
I don't know if some people are going to be uh, suspicious, although, I mean, we haven't really hinted at anything at all. Uh, mum and dad know, but um, very few people other than that. Mackenzie's mum, that's it. So, um, I can't wait to tell friends, especially my friends who are mums, because um, two of my bridesmaids are, and I am desperate to ask some questions, all the stuff that boys don't really want to hear. But um, I think that that's going to be amazing, finally. And, see I'm smiling, this is the first day I've woken up not feeling like I want to hurl. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's amazing the things you appreciate um, <laughs> when you feel so rough. But that has made me really happy. Um, because I kept just thinking, God, what if I'm one of those people who's morning sickness stupid name all day and all night sickness um just lasts for ages and i'd seen you know some people it lasts the whole pregnancy other people it lost another month or so after this and i just couldn't bear that so i'm not going to get ahead of myself though because i know it could come in waves and come back but that is the first time i have opened my eyes and not the first thought in my head not being i feel sick um so that's exciting and also, I'm going up to London today to see some friends, best friends. And I just managed to do my makeup without having to sit down on the edge of the bath to have a rest. <laughs> but I swear being pregnant is like being either someone who's sick or someone who's elderly, or both at once. But I'm getting there. Just off to do the dry cleaning. Just when I'm back in England, it's kind of dawned on me. I am going to become a parent, but I'm looking over here only because there's a little kid running past me. I'm thinking, oh shit, that ain't gonna be that long away. The fact there's another one, there's a bigger one coming. And then two years after that, you get that one. Oh my gosh. Morning. Let's see, she's already done it. So we're still in England and we've only got a couple of days left. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. today, God knows why, because I've been feeling so tired and I feel like maybe my body's just like, jokes, get used to it, because this is what you're gonna get now. Um, but it has been really lovely being at home. I don't really want to go back to LA yet. It's just been really good being around family, old friends, and telling everybody that's like really happy moments every time you're telling people. Um, and then I found, well, one, one of my best friends, Tanya, sent us, this book, which is apparently the best one you can get. Because it's quite overwhelming how much info there is online. And I think if you start, it's almost like WebMD, you can start convincing yourself that things are wrong or that you're going to give birth to an alien. Um, and then I found this really pretty little dress. Um, so it depends if we have a boy or a girl. But I'm crossing my fingers for a girl because this was mine and I just think it's so sweet. So I need to ask mum if we've got any other um, baby clothes at home. My skinny jeans feel a bit tight around the tummy area. And I mean, it's inevitable, isn't it really? But it's not that fun. But it's weird because when, I mean, my weight fluctuates like anybody. When you normally put on weight, you, you put your jeans on, it's like they're tight around your tummy and your bum and your thighs, but this is just the tummy area. I'm not gonna be one of those earth mums who's like, oh yes, I love being pregnant and um, I'm made to do this. I just, do you know what? If we ever have another one, right. I'm not getting ahead of myself, maybe you could do that one? I'll do it, because I get to eat whatever I want. No, you don't. I get to lie in bed, take two hour naps in the afternoon. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I swear to God, you resent the naps. You do. Oh, I, never, so I was like, feeling I nauseous. Can't describe, Time for a two hour nap. I can't describe the feeling of tiredness. It's like nothing you've ever experienced. There's like a I go through it every Shut weekend. Up. There's a curtain that comes down and you, that's it. You, I couldn't hold my eyes open if I tried. Any dads to be watching. If we say we're we tired, get it the hard way. we're bloody tired. <laughs> Don't, do not be an obstacle do between a woman. Do not ever be. I, a, I was gonna say never be an obstacle between a woman and anything. Do not be an obstacle between a pregnant woman and her nap. Ever. 
in his defence, he's a, he jokes on camera, right? But actually, you've been you've been incredibly supportive and helpful and kind. I have. And you've even felt tired and sick as well, haven't you, babes? You've I'm had sympathy symptoms. Um, Sym sympathy symptoms. symptoms. Tired, nauseous. That's normally on Saturday when I'm hungover. Belly. <laughs> belly's growing. Because I'm not allowed to go and work out because I can't leave your side. Oh, I've been eating worse. Don't make stuff up. I've been eating worse because you have weird cravings. So if you have pizza cravings, I have pizza. And if you have three slices, I have to have the other six. Because you never eat pizza otherwise. Yeah, because I never eat pizza. <laughs> right, you're falling asleep. So don't nap at the road. <laughs> so, we got back to LA late last night from London. I am officially in my second trimester, which is, I keep wanting to say semester, which is very exciting and mainly just because I feel better. I've never appreciated feeling well more than this. And we are driving separately because we're going our separate ways after um, to our next scan. Yes. Okay. You all are having a beautiful baby. 